What is up YouTube? My name is James. I'm bringing you guys a brand new video here today. I already recorded the, nearly this whole video and the mic, there was no battery in it, so it didn't work. Time to re-record the whole video, but it's okay. I, I feel like doing it again will make it a little better because I know exactly what I want to say. So, you know, look at the positives. Look at the positives in this shit, alright? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my favorite photo accessories slash props to make your photos stand out more or just look cool or have something extra in it and just shit like that. It's things that will give your photo more character as I've been saying lately. So in this shoe box right here, I have all my photo accessories, props, stuff like that. And I've recently gotten a lot more. So I'm going to be showing you guys all my photo props, how I use them, the results when I've used them. And for um, one of them, I'm going to show you guys like the active effect. I'm going to take a video with it in my camera to give you guys like the full like look of what it does. So, the first thing I'm showing you guys is bubbles. Shout out to at it's Nick Damas on Instagram. He gifted me with these bubbles because he had a thousand of them, so I gladly took it. And bubble. Make bubbles with them and stuff like that. Bubbles are fun. It can add some cool little looks to your photos. I don't know. It's cute. It's whatever. You know. It's fun just to add little things to your photos and just cause you know when you're doing portraits and stuff like that like Sometimes just having just a regular person in the picture can be a little boring, you know, you gotta get creative You gotta add things in. Alright, you gotta add layers to your photos, you know, so that's what I like to do Next is some confetti. I have some gold confetti and some silver confetti I'm probably gonna mix them together soon and do a little photo shoot with it whether it's so I'm blowing it into the camera or like throwing it up, whatever, you know, it's fun. Or like laying it out somewhere and like taking cool like still of, of objects and stuff like that. Whatever it is, it's fun to use, it's fun. So I definitely want to get some like a big bag of color confetti and that should be really fun. Next, we have triangular prisms. Now, I'm about to give you some very helpful information that could save you like 10 bucks if you ever decide to go out and buy a triangular prism. Here I have two prisms. This is the shitty one. This is the good one. Right here, the shitty one. This is an acrylic prism. If it says acrylic prism, do not buy it. It's shit. You do not want to get this. It is terrible, okay? Pretty much, it's just like, it's shit. Just take my word for it. Don't buy it. I'm gonna put it back in the box. I'm probably gonna throw it out soon. This here is a glass triangular prism. I just got this yesterday after buying this one and thinking it was the right one and wondering why it wasn't working. I forgot about my friend. She told me that this is the right one to get. And so I bought it and it's fucking awesome. I got to use it last night and it was so much fun. Okay, so here we have my dresser right there. I don't know, it was just the first thing I saw when I decided what I wanted to take a picture of. So I'm gonna show you guys what the prism looks like when you use it up against your lens. So this is how I usually use it. So what you want to do is you want to put it up right against your lens and say it's catching my uh, little bookshelf, my deodorant right there. And so if you put it right up against the lens, this is the kind of effect that you get. Now, see, 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 this is, see this is my prism right here? The focus is on my book, my dresser, okay? But I put the prism all the way up to my lens and you could twist it. Twist, I'm twisting the prism right now and it's giving me that effect. So normally if you have a more entertaining subject, you can do that and you can have a cool little uh, cool little effect. Usually you wanna keep it in that corner, usually a dead corner. See right there, I'm getting some cool rainbow colors too. Like that's so cool. You could do it all different kinds of ways. Next we have lights, okay? Lights are fun. Lights are my life, okay? I'm trying to pull some random wolf shit over here I bought like four of these little lights here recently, and I haven't actually got to use these ones yet, but I've used my old ones, and I'll show you guys some shit with my old ones in a second. But these lights, they're 30 feet long. It's string lights, obviously. These ones are blue LED lights, like kind of like white light, kind of, as you could say. Very cool stuff. And I also have rainbow ones right here. Really fun to use. I haven't used them yet, but I feel like it will be fun to use when I get them. I have three blue and white ones and one rainbow. And over here, these are my old lights. I'm gonna be showing you guys some examples I got with the old lights. These ones are kind of the same thing. It's just that these are like less powerful. They're produce less light 
and they're like 15 feet shorter than the other ones. So I wanted to get these the big ones right here with the big batteries instead of these ones with the small ones just because these ones are just clearly better. But just a quick, quick little this thing to know. These ones take up six AA batteries each, so I would definitely get a shit ton of batteries if you're gonna end up buying those. I, again, I will leave all of the links to, on Amazon to everything that I bought, except for the bubbles, okay? I'll leave the links to Amazon for everything. One of my all-time favorite things to use, a crystal ball. This thing has been with me through thick and thin. It's my first prop ever. This thing is my life. I love this thing. So pretty much what it does is, if you put it in the front of your camera, puts what's in front of you into this little ball and like um, reflects the image um, vertically. So it becomes upside, the image becomes upside down. Whatever's in the crystal ball at least. Everything outside will be regular obviously. And I'll show you guys some examples of that. And I just think this thing is awesome. I've had it for six months now. It's kind of dinged up, so I can't really use it anymore. So I have to get a new one. But I'm always going to keep this one because, no memories. Why not? I'm a hoarder. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys the crystal ball. This is what the crystal ball looks like. Let's put that bad boy in focus. I love the I love it's that sound my fucking camera makes when I when I focus manually. This is what it looks like right here. See that that's pretty cool. If I bring it more far out of the way and refocus. You know you get that really cool look. But anyway guys, that is gonna be the end of the video. I just really wanted to get a chance to explain like all the things that I use in my pictures and all that stuff like that, because you know it's fun. Using props is fun, it spices things up a bit and all that shit. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like, comment, let me know what props you guys use. If you decide to use any of the props that I showed you guys in this video, if you buy any and you take pictures of with it, or if you have your own props and you take pictures of it on Instagram, be sure to tag me. My Instagram is at JamesGMed. The link to my Instagram is in the description below. Be sure to follow me if you haven't already. I post pictures every single day, whether it's portraits or street landscapes or urban shit, whatever it is, I post a lot of it. And I also post some stuff with props too, so. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. And lastly, guys, my name is James. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. We're just chilling above this, above this gorge. So, Logic followed me on Instagram apparently. That's kind of interesting. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Oh, that would have been crazy. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just in LA, you know, casual. No big deal. No big deal.